Hello my friends, I am SV and we are continuous create our game in Unreal Engine 4. So last time we are create a particle effect for our life as you remember. Today we are create same for our fly energy. So first of all we are going to material and create new material. Uh, it will be uh, fly mud, something like that. Uh, we are doing same like before, so first of all I'll change blend mode to translucent, then right click, put some texture sample, something like that, apply this texture sample, this uh, diffuse color for emission color, yeah of course because I have nothing, yeah, I have to put something inside, so it will be, where is my flower, somewhere here, Okay, and opacity to opacity, something like that. So it's done. Uh, now coming shaders, but anyway, we can save it. And now we can go. No, I cannot go, so I have to wait a little bit. It's taking a little bit time. Come on. Okay, so it's saved. Now we are going to our uh, particle and create one more particle system and it will be a fly particle, something like that. Open that and like before. So first of all, we have to change this standard uh, particle crosses to our material. We are going to require it and uh, here is material change for our flowers. So wait a little bit, coming now, uh, compiling shaders, very soon it's coming. Come on. Yeah, like, like before, yes, it's taking some time. Okay, it's done, yeah? So I have saved this material and I go in here, save. Yeah, you see, now I have some flowers and it's already looks like nice. So what we will do now? First of all, I'm going and I change for emitter, uh, emitter loops for one, just only one emission, something like that, you see, yeah? Uh, then I am going for spawn. And inside in the spawn, I open a rate distribution and make it zero. So I no need any distribution rate. I need use a burst or burst. Just go in here. Burst list make plus one. Open. And make it count 400. Something like that. So in one time, it's coming 100, 100 of flowers. So what we will do next? Next we are going for lifetime and minimum and maximum. So minimum will be one, maximum I will make a five. Something like that. You see it already looks like very nice. Then we are going for initial size. And I like to make it randomized. Maybe I start from something like a 15 and finish for something like a 40. So some will be very small, some will be very big, something like that. Then we are going to velocity and as you remember here I have to make minus 200 just to make some effect, yeah, something like that. So, and maybe we will see, some of them will be to forward a little bit. Here I will make a minus 50, come on, minus 50, plus 50, yeah, something like that, look at this. My flower is going everywhere. So what we can do, color we don't touch, we can delete it. Then we are create, mm, I don't know what we are create. We are create some orbit. So we are going to orbit and create some orbit. You see, I have some, some moving of this orbit. Uh, so what kind of orbit? We are going here. And as I remember, it's somewhere of set amount. 
Yeah, so this we are reduced for 10. Just give little bit orbit. Looks like very nice. Uh, what we'll do now, now we are going and make some rotation. So rotation, rotation, initial rotation, just moment. Initial rotation rate, something like that. You see, all my flowers have different rotation. Also, we can change some settings. Not so big, we are make it 0 0.5, something like that. Very nice. And also I make a size per life. I am going for size, initial size, and size by life, something like that. Uh, like last time, yes, we are going to 1 and make it 0, 100% of life, and make something like that. You see, and it is going very small. So, um, yeah. You remember, yes, like I told you, this is 0%, this is 100%. It means this is full life, this is just beginning of the life. It means in beginning of the life, I will have a 1 size, and end of my life, I have a 0 size, something like that. If you like, you can add one more points or two more points and check my previous tutorials how it's working. So it is done. Now we are going uh, back to blueprint and back to fly somewhere here. Uh, what we will do now? Now here we will make absolutely same like in my life. So as you remember, I take some spawn emitter and some uh, scene re relative location. So we are going here and make it spawn emitter at location. Something like that. So which emitter open and now we have already fly particles. Very nice. Then I take this one like uh, and location somewhere yellow yeah and apply it here very nice uh save yeah it will be destroyed and play so now we will see what we have okay Very soon coming our flies, our flowers, life, but I cannot see. Okay, it is. So look at this. I pick up it and I have it, but it's somewhere behind. Somewhere behind. So what we have to do, we are make same like here. Yes, set translucency third priority and I make also 180 or something like that. Sort. Mm, sort priority maybe 179 something like this so check and play so now i think will be good result again we have to wait a little bit so it is already like like a good gameplay as for me I think I need few more tutorials to complete this game. I think maximum 10, we will see. Okay, I can see a flower. Yeah, you see. Looks like very nice. Looks like very nice and it is a really nice effect. So now I lose one life and yeah, look at this. Very nice. So, uh, what we will do now? Now we are going to Photoshop. So I open Photoshop and I show you how to create some also nice effect. We will call it like a dust effect. Uh, I show you now inside in the folder. Inside in Photoshop, we have to create new new file with small size, 128 for 128 pixels, just something like that. So create it. What now? Now just increase little bit size and make some round. So I take some gray color somewhere middle, something like that, okay, and make like this. Something like that. Mm. 
Mm, yeah, sorry for a mistake. First of all, we have to make it layer number one. After that, we have select everything, delete to make it like a transparency, and then we have to paint. So, um, just a moment. Come on. Okay. Uh, we have to paint something like, okay, now it will be good. Something like that. So, it will be like a dust. Very nice. So when it's done, just going for save as. We are save it like a PNG. Where is this PNG file? And we are save it with, we are call it like a dust. Dust, something like that. So save somewhere. After that, take this file. Yeah, okay. As you can see, we receive like this dust. So copy it or cut, then we are going to our tutorial game, content browser, um, texture, and put it inside, insert, so we have it inside. Go back to our game, and as you can see, we have import one texture, so import, and we are checking if it's inside or not, yeah, it is here, it is already inside. Uh, so, uh, what we will do now, now we are going and create one more material create material and it will be like a dust material open make texture like before texture sample use our dust where is this dust just a moment somewhere here i hope this dust have alpha channel yeah we have to change our material for translucency opacity and emission color so wait a little bit i hope now it will work save okay save it as you can see we receive some something like that so we are going back to our particle folder and create one more particle system which will be a uh, dust something like that open and like before require it we are changed for dust material and what we get? We get like, we have to wait a little bit, of course. Dust material, we have to save one more time. Go in here. Wait a little bit. 60. It's very soon will come. Okay, 9. So, yeah. As you can see, we have like this some kind of dust. First of all, I going for spawn, and inside in the spawn rate, I will put not 20, I put 100, just to make more. It will be more dust. Then I'm going for lifetime and change from 0 0.5 maybe to 1, something like that. What I am doing next, initial size. Uh, yeah, maybe we will change a little bit initial size will be from very small to very big, maybe something like a 50 to 100. Will be too much dust, something like that. Very good. Um, velocity, initial velocity. So what we can change inside in the initial velocity, it will be minus 100, minus 150, will be in this size. And here I change maybe a little bit up only only 20 but also a little bit down minus 10 something like that 10 10 okay color over over life i no need and also i add um i think initial rotation i'm going to rotation rate and initial rotation rate something like that to receive something like this result yeah minimum maximum so very nice i have it and what we will do now now i like to apply this dust only when my bull will run on the land so for this reason i am going to blueprints and to my pawn i hope you check at my previous tutorials and you remember everything what we are create here so what we will do 
Now we have to add this particle inside in our pawn. So first of all, I am going to viewport and inside in our bool, I will add one more component. Name of this component will be a particle system. Particle system, something like that. So I call it like a dust. Very nice. So which particle template I open and I apply dust. As you can see, I have this dust. It is here. So I just put a little bit down somewhere here, minus 250. Very nice. So what else, what I am doing now? Now I like to change a render FX just to receive a little bit uh, on forward. I am going for rendering. I am select this dust and change these numbers more than my bool. For example, 111, something like that. As you remember, my bool is exactly 100. Looks like very nice. What now? Uh, now I am going and here, as you can see, activation, auto activation, disable. So I no need activated automatically. I like to make it manually. I'm going to event graph. And question is where is and when I can activate this dust effect. So as you remember, we are created this camera shake. When you remember when my bull touching a uh, camera collision box, I have a camera shake. So in same moment, I like to activate, activate dust, just a moment, activate dust, as you can see like this. So nothing more, just put down. And when I like to deactivate my dust, I think when I jump, so when I jump, I deactivate my dust. I'm going here and make deactivate dust, something like that. So now we will see what we get. This maybe I will put a little bit forward, something like this to receive more interesting picture. Okay, here will be deactivate. Save and check inside in the game. So start play. As you can see, I haven't any dust because we are disabled after activation. So jump, boom, and I have now dust. As you can see, it looks like very nice and looks like it's running. Very nice. So when I jump, I haven't nothing. When I dropping down, I again some I again have some dust. And I like it. So now we can pick up our flower. Now we can pick up our life and we already have some very nice particle system. Looks like very nice. So for a moment, my tutorial completed. Next time in next tutorial, we are create some uh, particle effect during flying. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, put like and see you next time. Very soon we are complete this game. Goodbye, my friends.